In 2015, a groundbreaking study conducted by Frank Hruli and his colleagues revealed intriguing insights into the lives of ancient Egyptian royalty. The research focused on 259 Egyptian mummies, both those belonging to the elite as well as regular citizens. The findings pointed towards a startling pattern of extensive inbreeding among the pharaohs, shedding light on the complexities of their familial relationships and the consequences of their practices. Inbreeding in Ancient Egypt The roots of inbreeding in ancient Egypt can be traced back to 3100 BCE with the establishment of the civilization that would leave an indelible mark on history. Marriage within the family was not uncommon in ancient Egypt, especially among royalty. The pharaohs, who considered themselves descended from the gods, saw incestuous unions as a means of preserving the sacred bloodline. The notion was rooted in the belief that maintaining purity within royal lineage ensured a divine connection and secured the legitimacy of their rule. However, the study highlighted the unintended consequences of this practice. While the pharaohs may have believed they were safeguarding their divine lineage, they were unaware of the severe genetic implications that could arise from inbreeding. As we journey through the annals of history, the names of pharaohs echo through time, each entwined in a familial tapestry of intermarriage. The Ptolemaic dynasty of Macedonian origin rose to prominence in the 4th century BCE following the demise of Alexander the Great. Interwoven within this dynasty's ascendancy was a penchant for inbreeding that became a defining feature of their rule. Cleopatra's Incestuous Marriages the central figure in this familial saga is Cleopatra VII, the last pharaoh of Egypt. Her life story reads like a drama filled with political intrigue, sibling rivalry, and ill-fated love. Cleopatra, embracing the established family tradition, married not once but twice within her own bloodline. Her first marriage to Ptolemy XIII when she was 18 and he a mere 10 years old was orchestrated for political reasons. However, what could have been a strategic union unraveled into a bitter sibling rivalry resulting in Cleopatra's expulsion from Egypt. Undeterred by the failure of her first incestuous marriage, Cleopatra again married with her half-cousin Ptolemy XIV. Yet, this union proved no less tumultuous with political tensions and the looming question of the Egyptian throne casting shadows over their relationship. The complexity of Cleopatra's love life reached its zenith when she engaged in a romantic liaison with Julius Caesar, resulting in the birth of their son, Caesarian. To secure her position, Cleopatra married Caesarian, her own flesh and blood, revealing the extent to which inbreeding had become ingrained in the fabric of the Ptolemaic dynasty. Health Consequences the consequences of this dynastic inbreeding extended far beyond political maneuvering. The artistic depictions of Potomac pharaohs, marked by elongated heads and peculiar figures, have long been a subject of scrutiny. Scholars suggest that these artistic choices may reflect the genetic abnormalities prevalent in a family tree deeply rooted in incest. The dynasty's inclination for intermarriage is believed to have contributed to physical deformities and health issues among its members. The skeletal remains and mummified bodies reveal signs consistent with conditions such as Graves' disease, Edheim-Chester disease, and Folic syndrome, all potential outcomes of genetic anomalies resulting from incestuous unions. Psychological Implications Beyond the physical toll, there looms the question of the psychological impact of incest within the Ptolemaic dynasty. While diagnosing mental illnesses several millennia later is a difficult task, historical accounts paint a dark picture of pharaohs characterized as vicious, greedy, weak, and vengeful. The penchant for intrafamilial murders and rivalries hints at a potential link between compromised genes and compromised personalities. As we navigate through the pages of history, the blurred lines between nature and nurture become increasingly challenging to discern. Were these rulers inherently predisposed to such traits, or did the echoes of incest reverberate through generations, shaping the very fabric of their characters? DNA Analysis and Tutankhamun's Health In the 21st century, modern science embarked on a journey to unravel the mysteries of ancient Egypt through the study of mummies. 
German and Egyptian researchers focused their efforts on 11 mummies dating back to the 18th dynasty, a period from 1550 to 1292 BCE. Among these mummies were close relatives of iconic pharaohs like Tutankhamun, Zahi, and Halas. The meticulous extraction of DNA and bone scanning techniques provided unprecedented insights into the familial relationships, potential illnesses, and causes of death of these ancient rulers. The most remarkable revelation came from Tutankhamun's DNA analysis, which conclusively confirmed the practice of incest within the royal family. Tutankhamun, born of an incestuous relationship between Akhenaten and his sister, bore the brunt of genetic weaknesses. Contrary to previous beliefs attributing his physical appearance to conditions like Marfan syndrome or gynecomastia, the scans indicated that these depictions were artistic choices rather than reflections of physical reality. Tutankhamun's health, as unveiled by tomography scans, painted a vivid picture of the toll extracted by generations of inbreeding. The presence of numerous staves and sticks in his tome revealed a chronic struggle with bone necrosis, and evidence of clubfoot, cleft palate, and cleft lips suggested a life marred by physical deformities. Amenhotep I, A Case Study in Incest among the pharaohs, King Amenhotep I emerged as a notable case study. His incest rating was the highest in the study, indicating a significant degree of intermarriage within his family line. Now, if you're liking our video so far, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Body Height as a Clue The study employed a unique approach to investigate inbreeding given the ethical constraints around genetic testing due to the preservation of mummy. The rationale behind this choice lies in the fact that variations in body height can indicate the level of genetic diversity within a population. Scoring System for Inbreeding Levels To delve deeper into the extent of inbreeding, the research team developed a scoring system. This innovative approach allowed them to evaluate the level of inbreeding within specific family lines. The research not only identified the presence of inbreeding, but also offered a nuanced understanding of its prevalence across different dynasties. While the 17th and 18th dynasties stood out for their exceptionally high levels of incest, other periods displayed varying degrees of incestuous activity as well. The Role of Genetics the study not only delves into the genetic implications of inbreeding, but also offers insights into the broader societal attitudes towards familial relationships in ancient Egypt. The pharaohs and their belief that they were descendants of the gods considered incestuous unions as a sacred practice. The study sheds light on the intersection of religious beliefs, cultural norms, and the unintended consequences of these practices. It prompts us to question how societal values and religious convictions can shape not only individual behaviors, but also the genetic makeup of entire populations. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure you like the video. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you next time.